Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, so in the video today, what I'm going to be talking about is the ball or the ball. I'm not sure how this is pronounced. Uh, the version four uh, RDA mod and the accompanying um, Shiva or Shiva again. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. The Shiva 1925 mechanical tube mod. Uh, let's take a closer look at this fella. All right, so here we go. This is a fresh out of the box look at the Baal or the Baal uh, version four, or the Baal version four RDA, and the Shiva or the Shiva mod. Yeah, Shiva or Shiva, not too sure. Uh, so there we go. That's the package in that it's after coming in. Open it up. And yeah, here's a bag of spares, screws, O rings, and uh, a fucking Allen key. Shit. Yeah, Allen key again. Okay, uh, so here's the RDA, the Baal version 4, the Baal version 4. Um, nice fucking drip tip on this. this is, oh, it screws in. Uh, this is nice. This looks like a resin material. Uh, threading on the drip tip there. Nice color. I do actually like this. Absolutely nothing on the base there. Uh, yeah, protruding positive pin. Says Baal or Ball version four. And oh, geez, look, we got an upside down cross going there out of the B. Here's the fucking airflow, which is, whew, that's a lot of airflow. Then we got the uh, the kind of devil or the Cooper devil on uh, the other side, and there's the airflow. Um, let's have a look at the deck. Uh, this does have the kind of shadow uh, building deck style there. So, all right. So I'm guessing the top is the. Um, Guessing the top would be the positive, the bottom would be the negative milled in. And the Allen keys there on the side. Uh, I actually thought these were going to be flatheads. Uh, I'm disappointed with the screws. Because uh, I hate these fucking things. Um, they seem okay, but uh, they don't last. That's my problem with them. Um, that insulator doesn't seem like, considering my experience with the troll. Uh, building deck. This kind of seems a little bit close here on the right hand side here uh, compared to the left side. Maybe if I push that down. Um, so it seems like that insulator in there is really fucking small. Any, anyway, that's the deck. Uh, it looks like the, there's a, there is quite a deep juice well in this actually for cotton. And here's the uh, the airflow control ring. Uh, kind of a bit set up like the comp vape ones that it comes on and off. And here's the, um, uh, I guess, the inside of the airflow. Um, it's only set up for dual. So your airflow is going to be wide open with this kind of honeycomb um, pyramid. And that you can close off, close off, close off, close off, close off. Which are, obviously will correspond with the other side. Or you could you could kind of reverse that honeycomb and have one coming in from there. One interesting kind of airflow design. I'll say that. All right, so let's uh, put the. This is a cool fucking trip tip, though. I have to say. All right, let's get that on. Um, all right, let's uh, let's have a look at the mod. Okay, so here again. So again, uh, kind of an interesting color here. What have we got? We got kind of. Pink, purple, lilac, lavender. There's a lot of colors going on in here. And it's got 1925. I have no idea what that's meant to mean. And it's got Shiva or Shiva um, on the side there. So we've got one, two, three, four ventilation holes right in the middle of this guy. No branding whatsoever on the button. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's a pretty, uh, pretty happy button there. And then we have the top, which is uh, this arrow or compass type jobby thing going on. It is a uh, 24 millimeter in diameter, by the way. So um, here's what it looks like compact. Are all set up, so to speak. Uh, looks all right. It looks colorful. I mean, if you wanted a break from just the solid black copper brass or stainless steel, um, this is a kind of colorful chap. Um, does come in other finishes and stuff, but... Uh, well, let's go back and have a look at this mod. This is first impressions. So, yeah, so the top section comes off. Uh, yeah, needs a little wash and a little bit of a clean in there. Uh, threading is not too bad. Um, loads of little threads, which I'm not a fan of when the threads are this small because it means that there, there is more of a chance of them actually fusing together and stuff but um they're not too bad they need a bit of a clean 
and again here you got the small thin threads which uh yeah uh, that's all right and then uh i believe these yeah these sleeves just twist off these are like you know i guess this is like a an able kind of an idea um but they come off and uh, there's your tube And uh, there's again the very close uh, thin cut threads on the button config. Looks like we got a Delrin. Uh, does this adjust or auto adjust for the battery height to keep the battery away? Uh, I'll look at the button config in a minute. And uh, yeah, there's the other sleeve comes off. So there's the barrel. Uh, it, f it feels light. It's very light. There isn't much weight to this, so I will say that. So I'll put these uh, uh, these little sleeves back on. Uh, when you attach the RDA to it, let's see how much room in there we have as far as batteries and stuff go. I even fair. It does. It does protrude quite well, actually. It does protrude all right. Let's have a look at the button configuration. Um, so I'm pretty sure this is magnets. No, it's a spring. Fuck. All right. Okay, so I'm hoping I don't get hot button. So, all right. So there's a little spring. It doesn't feel that strong at all. It's quite uh, it's quite loose. Not much tension to that at all. And then the disc. Jeez, it's quite small. Uh, threading in the inside is pretty clean looking. Uh, here's the inside of the button config. So, I'll slip that back in there. And uh, here's my contact. Um, looks like that's a, it. Looks like it's a copper plated contact, and uh, the screws are quite clean on that too. There is threading on this battery adjuster, so yeah, you would adjust this for uh, if you're getting battery rattle or if the battery's too loose and you're getting, not getting a connection, you want to get it tight. So you could just hold this with your thumb and just twist the uh, the bottom cylinder there, the battery assembly. So right, I'll put this all back together. And I just get the uh, the contact back in, which uh, you can work in with your fingers or your finger and your thumb, and then just tighten it up with a screwdriver if you so wish. Uh, let's tighten that. And so there's our button. Okay. Um, There's a, that's a lot of threads. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jesus. That's like those thin cut threads. You know, I usually say I like, you know, nice big thick cut threads. But when they're this thin, it's just, it takes, you have to turn it backwards a few times to get the thread started. And then when you do, that's a lot of thread. Man. That's a lot of twisting. Just to get it on. Um, overall, it's not heavy. It's very lightweight. Um, it does. It feels like an aluminium mod. Tell you the truth. And then, uh, and it definitely all needs a bit of three in one as well. But uh, it is nice and small. It's uh, here. It is compared next to my uh, the hang mod, my death wish mod, and you can see just even, you know, I know this this uh, the button does go quite a bit up in the hang, but you can see the size difference there. It's nearly the whole size of the fucking mod the hang. Um, so I'm going to chuck a build into this. Um, you've seen what it looks like out of the box. I haven't shined it up or put any oil into it. I'm going to use it and then come back and give you the final verdict on the Ball of the Ball uh, version 4 RDA and the Shiva or the Shiva um, mechanical tube mod. Yeah, 1925, whatever that means. <laughs>
Okay, so the battery I'm going to use in this is the LG HD2 30 amp battery, 1500 milliamp hour. So because that positive contact on the bottom, or basically the button on the bottom, is so big and large, and I would be uh, concerned about that possibly creating a little tear in my insulator. I'm going to put this in. I'm going to put this in negative side down, so that the positive point of the battery is touching the positive point of the RDA. This is a hybrid um, RDA setup, as in RDA and mechanical mod. Do not use sub tanks on this mechanical mod. Do not use RDAs that do not have protruding pins or that are not designed to be used on hybrid mods. So let's give this a fire. Nice cooker. That's nice. Now, by doing that as well, uh, that's also just helping the juice get absorbed into that coil. So I'm going to give it one last little uh, drizzle of delicious juice here. This RDA and this mod together. I'll also use the RDA on some other mods, see how it performs. And I'll let you know what I think. So for now, that's uh, an up-close look at the Bal, the Ball, the Bal version 4 and the Shiva or the Shiva mechanical tube mod. Cheers! Um, thoughts and opinions on the Baal or Baal version 4 and the, I'm going to call it the Shiva and the Shiva or the Shiva, I prefer Shiva, uh, mechanical tube mod. Um, it's okay. You know, it's all right. It's not fantastic. It doesn't hit like a fucking train or anything like that. It's okay. It's, um, it's very small and it's very discreet. Um, this is, a uh, the, uh, where I'll put a link in the description where I got it. The, um, this particular one, you can get the RDA in, um, this is a brass finish, you can get it in a golden finish, you can get it in black, you can get it in stainless steel, um, or you can get it with the uh, with the Shiva mod. Um, and then there's two, there's like a black themed one, and then there's this kind of themed colored one, which is kind of turquoise and purple and pinks going on and green and, you know, and the, the resin colors are random then if you get it with the kit, so you can't actually pick exactly which one you'd like to get um the let's talk about the rda first the the rda the airflow on this if it's wide open right if you got that kind of reverse try if you got that pyramid i was going to say reverse triangle the pyramid kind of honeycomb thing the um the airflow is a little bit on the ridiculous side now that's just so airy, it's just like breathing in, you know. It feels like I haven't even fucking vaped. And halfway is still quite a lot. Same, it feels like um, I'm using a zero nick juicer, just that I bear, except for all the fucking vape around me here, I'd feel like I haven't even fucking inhaled. These 10 uh, air holes, right? If I cut all these down to about, say, three, and then kind of half them off, this is like all right. That's all right, like, I can fucking work with that, and that feels like a satisfying vape and stuff. The uh, the mod, um, the button, it feels like a spring, you know, it's squishy. It has that kind of feel to it. It's not like a hair trigger or anything. You have to hit it. There is a slow ramp up time to it as well. You have to keep adjusting the, um, the airflow to the left, okay? And if you go past this kind of shape, then you have this shape opens up here you know it kind of reverses it a bit if you know what i mean when you go around if you um turn it to the right you unscrew the uh, the actual drip tip and uh yeah that doesn't do shit for the airflow so that's the only thing i'm not mad about um and also with the airflow being on, on the inside right these um these little walls if you look they're very, very close when I put this in to my build. And I have my build as close in to that center post thing, which is fucking huge. Um, I have it as close in there as I can kind of get. But um, I do feel sometimes that um, the the outside of this is going to scrape off the coils, you know. And I don't want anything to fucking short out or anything. So, um, yeah, there, there is kind of a lot of room, but there isn't a lot of room because the airflow control is on the inside and the, the walls of this are quite kind of thick compared to the wall of the, um, compared to the actual barrel of the RDA. So, um, 
just things to point out and also even when you get juice into this it's very loose it just kind of flies around the place you know what i mean um i haven't spent like more and more time with this uh mechanical tube mod and the uh the rda here's my final thoughts on it okay the um the rda the building deck on it i really like it's a plus it's a really nice deck to build on really simple you know very like the kind of velocity in, in some ways but it's much stronger uh this shadow rda style is a much stronger way to build so yeah the the rda is okay but it's way 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 too airy um don't like the airflow being on the inside right uh, because the walls on that airflow are so thick they do scrape off the coils i've already said that but that's like a negative um with all mechanical tube mods anyone that knows them knows that uh in essence there's moving parts to them that's what uh, gives them their charm and their attraction and stuff is that it is moving parts and stuff there's no chip controlling you know the way you vape and stuff it's the build etc it's the parts you got to keep them clean you know you got to look after it so there's moving parts this whole setup has a lot of moving parts if you rotate the airflow control the wrong way you unscrew the drip tip the airflow control is just way too loose uh, with the drip tip. You know, just take it out of your pocket, you can adjust the airflow. So it's a bit of a bollocks having to keep turning it, turning it around a full 360 degree if you've just moved a, little, a hair by mistake. You know what I mean? The two little kind of resin um, sleeves on this that are, you know, like half versions of the Abelmod thing, they kind of move. You know, they're not that stable. Um, I've banged an O-ring in here to uh, just on top of thin little one to stop these moving, but they do move, which again is just a bit of a because this was moving and the top was moving, and I was like, "There's too many fucking things moving." Yeah. Final thoughts. It's okay. It's all right. You know, it's not um, a powerhouse. It's not a hard hitting mechanical tube mod. Um, it doesn't hit like a train and all the catchphrases and everything. It, you know the. The RDA can shock the fucking clouds, but there's too much airflow, so it you you sacrifice the flavor whenever you have too much airflow and stuff. So it does completely feel like aluminium. You know, the whole kind of setup just feels like aluminium. Um, I think they say this is brass, but it, it just it feels and the temperature of it is aluminium. It does get a little bit warm. The uh, that's the 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 mod that is the the RDA does get hot. It does get warm. So, but the the drip tip's good. It, it isolates it and everything. So um, overall, it's okay. Um, it's not an able. It's not a rogue. It's not a broadside. You know, it's not hard hitting and ass kicking and all that. It's just okay. But again, it's a nice. Um, if it's a combo, it's a nice sleek, stealthy, small, you know, little setup. And also, not everybody wants a hard hitting motherfucker of a mechanical tube mod some people might just want a nice little subtle mod you know and to do a subtle build on they don't want to build low like me and other people do just to get you know the kind of vape that we want to get so if you're looking for a kind of a mild mechanical tube mod that looks kind of unique and different and nice and um, gives a little bit of a hit then it'll be this i think i've covered everything i don't think i have anything else to say about it um you know Thanks a lot for checking out the video. I'll have another one up soon. Until then, take care, good luck, and bye-bye.